Now I'm gonna pull this over to our other Excel report that we've been all putting all of our data into so that we can practice putting our pie chart along with all of our other reports, possibly being able to print them out all on one PDF form. If you don't have that other form, that's okay. You could just use this one to practice with, but I'm gonna take the whole thing, put in my cursor on the triangle, right click and copy the whole, the whole thing. And then I'm gonna to go to this report that has all of my reports on it. Go to the last tab and then hit the plus button. I'll put it in A1 or I can select the entire sheet, right click and paste it. And then I'm gonna rename it, double clicking down here. This is gonna be the sales by customer data. This is gonna be the data tab because I'm gonna create another tab where the actual graphs are gonna go. And then I'm gonna hide the data tab so that I can print all of this stuff on one PDF file without the data tab, but just the nice charts that we want to be adding. So I'm gonna hold control, scroll up on this a bit, and we've got all we need here, but I'm just gonna clean it up like I typically like to do. I'm gonna change the font so I don't have this funny font situation. In other words, over here, I'm in Calibri 11. Over here, I'm in Arial 8. I wanna pick one. Everything should be the same. I don't like this funny business with all this different fonts. So I'm going to make it the standard Excel Calibri 11 by going to the home tab, paint brushy that cell, and then I'm going to paint brushy the whole thing with the triangle. So everything's the same. And then I'm going to right click and then format it the way I want to format it. Cause this is my, this is, this is my Excel worksheet. I'm going to go to the currency down below. Let's put some brackets around the negative numbers get rid of the dollar sign, decimals, those need to go to, and okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna delete all the stuff I don't need, all I want is the raw data. I don't want the, I don't want the title. So I'm gonna put my cursor on row one and drag on down to row five, let go, right click on that stuff and delete it, get out of here. And then I'm gonna go down, I don't need the total, I'm gonna put my cursor on row 23, drag down to row 30 or whatever, right click and delete all that stuff. So that looks good. And then sometimes these cells still have a formula in it. It still says equal. So I just want to make sure there's no formulae, just raw data. So I'm going to put my cursor on column B and then right click the selected area and copy it. And I'm just going to paste it right down on top, but this time just with the one, two, three. So it'll paste just the values only, just the raw data. Don't give me any formulas. Just give me the data. There we have it. And then I'm going to make it a Skinnerize this. I'm going to, I'm going to put my cursor between the B, the C and Skinnerize it, dragging to the left. That's how, that's how you put a cell on a diet in Excel. You just drag it to the left like that. It's really easy. So then we need to sort this from highest to lowest Z to A, as they say in Excel sorting terms. Now you could do this by selecting this whole thing and then go to the data and then go to the filters and then you got your filters. But I don't like to do that because sometimes I think stuff gets jumbled up. I want a table. I'm going to add a table. So you know that you know by now that I like the, I like the table thing. So I'm going to put my cursor. I don't need to highlight the whole thing. I could just put it anywhere in the data as long as the data is all stuck together and then go to the insert tab and then table and it'll pick the data that we want. Typically it should. And then we're going to say, okay, you want to double check these things. And then I'm in the table design. I'm going to add a total to it. The total there it is 10 to 80. Does that still tie out to what's in QuickBooks? Did I mess anything up yet? I'm going to close this out. Let's check it out. 10 to 80. So I'm still good. It's still good. It's still good. So then I'm going to hit the drop down and sort it from Z to A, top to bottom. Boom. So now there's too many things to make up a pie chart, but I'll just show you just to show you what the issue is. If I select just the meat, not the total, not the header columns, just the data. And then I go to insert. I can make a pie chart out of it by just selecting the pie chart and boom. But the slices, you see, you see the problem. The slices are too small. No individual can get any sustenance that's at all satisfactory from a pie slice that's that, that's that small. So we have to fix it. So I'm going to close it here. 
Now note before I do that, just what it is doing with the pie charts is just making a percent. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scannerize the C column, putting my cursor between the C and the D. And then in D2, I'm gonna say this equals this number divided by the total. That's all we're doing to make the percent. I'm gonna put my cursor on column D and home tab number group, percentize the whole column, put my cursor and drag down with the fill handle and then sum it up at the bottom equals the sum and that should be 100%. So you would think you might need to use this column, right? To make your pie chart, but no, you just choose the data. And of course, Excel does that calculation for us, but there's too many, there's too many. So that we have to say some of this stuff isn't gonna make the cut. So we're gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's stop it like there. Let's, and say, let's say that all this other stuff underneath is, is just gonna be an other. They didn't make the cut. You're not gonna be in my pie chart because you're not a good enough customer. Buy more stuff and you can make it in my pie chart. So anyways, so we're at the 2921. So I'm gonna put that in here, 2921. Call this other. And then all these people down below, they're off the, they're off the team. You're off the team. You guys are out of here until you start picking up your sales, buying more stuff. So I'm going to delete that. Get out, get out of here. And then I can still see the total is at the two ten two eight one. That's pretty close here. I rounded it. I did a rounding thing because I, uh, I I'm not showing the pennies here. So that's good. I'll keep, I'm okay with that. And then I can create a pie chart. So now let's select the data and see if the slices are good enough to serve to people. Insert, they have to be big enough, I mean, to serve to someone. It's not worth putting it on a plate if it's if you got a skinny slice. Okay, good enough, good enough. There's some people don't like super big slices. So we're gonna say, there we go. We could pull some of the, and then of course you can adjust this. You can get rid of the title. You can do what you want. You could change the color and so on. You got a bunch more flexibility in here.